Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and today you join me in a car. Unsurprisingly, that is what this channel is about, but we're gonna get to what car this is shortly. And let me know in the comments down below if you can work it out. I'll give you some clues as we go. What it's not though, is one of the kind of cars I've been driving in my recent videos. So the previous video to this was with the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso, 690 horsepower V12. The previous video to that was the 812 Superfast, 800 horsepower of Italian V12. And the previous video to that was collecting my friend Greg B's LaFerrari Aperta, a 963 horsepower hybrid V12. This is not a V12, as you can probably tell. It's something a little bit different, but if you can tell from what you can see, you've probably got a view that it's a hatchback. You can see a little bit of the steering wheel, not too much, do let me know. What I'm gonna do today though, while I'm just cruising along on some very nice Scottish countryside roads, just give you a bit of an update, what's going on, um, where I'm at, what's happening this year. And you may or may not have noticed that up to this point of this year, I have uploaded a video every single day. Um, pretty much actually since mid-November, which means about eight months of this year doing daily videos for you guys. Always, I think, interesting content, sometimes pieces that are just rambling on, letting you know what's going on, but specifically content pieces with a subject about a car, about an activity, about an event, um, about a specific you know, purpose. And I guess that's quite ironic given the video I'm shooting right now, but hey, that's what it is. Uh, today I'm out driving in Scotland because this time of year, for me actually, it's all of my family have their birthdays right now, apart from me. Uh, my brother, my sister, my father, and my mother's is very soon as well. So I actually need to go to the shops and buy some presents. Unsurprisingly, that's kind of what happens. But today, out in a rental car, none of my cars are up in Scotland. You probably remember the Focus RS used to be up here for quite a while, hence why I'm driving in this, which is a British car. I'll give you that clue, I'm in a British car. It has a manual gearbox, you've probably seen that I'm driving with that, a five-speed manual though. Um, and it has a grand total of 100 horsepower. 100 horsepower and 130 newton meters of torque, which means pulling out of the junction here, I could put my foot down completely flat to the floor. Away we go, that beastly end in there. Yeah, we're not going very quickly. Anyway, and finally 40 miles an hour. So it's uh, not necessarily the most powerful thing in the world. Actually, in April, on April Fool's Day, I shot that video, you might remember, of um, I'm selling all my cars when I was driving in a Volvo. Because normally when I rent a car, I've done this a lot, I have a Hertz Gold card, and that normally means I get upgrades. This time around, I didn't. I always book the cheapest. This is the cheapest category, I guess. Although actually, maybe there's like a category below, I don't even know. Um, but still, um, not, the, uh, not the fastest thing in the world. I mean, rental cars are actually quite an interesting one. I drive quite a lot of rental cars on these travels. Um, and I don't normally show it or film them because they're obviously not very exciting cars, but I've driven a lot of things like Kadjars, Astras, Focuses, um, I got kind of a Q3 once, that was quite nice, um, Shogun, big cars, small cars, you name it, any cars. Um, so I get to drive, I guess, quite a few normal cars and often quite new ones. This one's only got uh, 3,000 miles on the clock. It's a fairly new model car. New model actually came out two years ago, 2015. Um, a completely new model, uh, not like a facelift or anything, so that maybe gives you a clue as to what car I'm driving. Um, but you guys must have car rental experiences as well, and I thought this was quite an interesting topic, actually, so there's a cutie down below. Head on over, let us know. Have you had any like great cars, like amazing free upgrades, or have you had any total disasters where you've like turned up to the airport and you've had to go a mile away to get the car, a massive walk with your luggage to only be sent somewhere else, and then like a massive premium for insurance and all that jazz, I don't know. I'm definitely, definitely sure that between you guys there are some pretty horrendous car rental experiences, but hopefully some cool ones as well. Have any of you ever rented a supercar? That's quite interesting. Has anybody ever actually like rented um, a Ferrari or a, a Lamborghini or been part of a member club of this kind of sort? That'd be quite cool as well. Done one of the track day experiences. Those are fun. Um, so, I mean, all sorts of different ways you can rent cars. For me, this is a car I think that starts at about £16,000. So still quite nice. Still quite a nice car and the equipment and stuff in here is great actually. Um, but it's doing the job fine for what I need it for, just poodling around, uh, driving to the shops. I'm actually heading towards Dundee at the moment, Dundee, Scotland, just south of the Cairngorms, which have some amazing roads, and I'm dying to bring my cars up here to do some proper driving on these kind of roads. I really want to do, like, another Schmee team tour or something and bring all the guys, like Benzine Ben and Joe Achilles and everyone, and come up 
to like the Ken Gorms with the GTA, the LT, the FF, the Vanquish, whatever I have at the time, even the Mini to be honest, even the Mini and the Focus, just bring the whole lot on a truck and just drive them all. Um, because stuff like you might have seen the Evo Magazine Car of the Year, they do some amazing videos bringing all the cars up, it's super cool. And driving different kinds of cars on the same kind of road, you get a better feel, I guess, for what they're all about. Um, maybe even by the time I do it, the AMG GTR might be here, if we do it, obviously. Um, the GTR is due in October. Everybody's still asking me about it, even though I did this video like two or three weeks ago where I went over the spec and told you guys everything and when it's coming and answered all the questions. Um, yeah, so that was quite recent. Just to touch a little bit about what's coming up, as always, oh, hello, Vantage. That's so random up here. Don't often see super nice cars. Anyway, what's coming up? Goodwood Festival of Speed. It's that week again. Goodwood is always epic, and I think this year is looking to be pretty amazing too. I've got some awesome stuff lined up. Um, last year, I dropped two pretty big surprises on you guys, the Vantage GT8 and the AMG GTR orders, and I don't think I'm gonna be doing that again. Or well, maybe, who knows, watch this space. Um, but I do have a lot of cool cars lined up to go out in, to go up the hill climb and share some, some awesome videos with you guys as well as doing meetups. So if you're able to make it to Goodwood Festival of Speed um, between the Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, definitely on the Friday and Saturday we're going to be doing meetups. So keep an eye out on my uh, channel's social media pages and I'll let you know where they're going to be and when they're going to be. But I'll be there every day filming away. So if you see me filming, guys, please remember I'm making a video. <laughs> um, I'd love to say hello and chat to you and as soon as I put the camera down, more than happy to do so. But videos first, kind of, because you're all watching this after all. Um, but Festival of Speed is an amazing event. I think this is going to be my eighth consecutive year going to Festival of Speed, so it must be the main event I've actually ever been to and ever made um, content from. I love it. Um, and obviously there'll be a lot of videos, there's a lot that happens in a very short period of time. I'm hopefully going to have one or two of my cars on display on various different stands, so you'll be able to see them if you're around. Um, if you're at the event, so it's a really, really good one, and I'm really quite excited about it. Then it launches pretty much into summer stuff, so I'm going left, right, and center, loads of short trips, things going on, um, other events and activities. Um, no major road trips, none of the kind of massive where Shmi trip or that kind of thing. Uh, just seeing friends, hanging around Europe, um, hopefully making some cool stuff, and lots of awesome test drives. Although, as you'll probably agree, the recent videos, I've driven a Chiron, an 812 Superfast, 720S. It's been like awesome car after awesome car after awesome car, and I know where I am right now, and I'm gonna turn this way because it's an awesome road. Um, although how awesome it will be in a car with 100 horsepower, I'm not entirely sure, but manual gearbox, three pedals, that sort of gives us a bit of fun. So this car is the design spec of its model line. I said it's British. It's got a 1.4 litre petrol engine, revs up to about six and a half thousand. I have no idea if you've worked this out by now. It's a car I don't think I've ever driven one of before. However, I've done 60 miles in it since I picked it up and it's still over full on the fuel. So it's definitely on the efficient end. Claims about 53 MPG combined, I think. 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers, so quite efficient, but it's not quick. It's definitely not quick. Fourth gear, foot flat to the floor, 55, 56, 57 that kind of thing as the speed slowly builds up but it's a nice road the landscape up here is just a beautiful beautiful place it's amazing to drive um, into fifth gear and what we learned on fuel faction due by the way driving around italy is that sometimes people in these kind of cars drive quicker than the supercars do because it's not about your acceleration it's about how much speed you carry through the corner because we're all subject to the same speed limits and if you know a local road, if you're a local and you know where you're driving, you can go quicker than a supercar can, pretty much. Not necessarily sure it's always safe, but we did have a couple of kind of diesel hatchbacks that were literally bombing it, which was always quite fun. Um, we're driving along here, just want to be up here with the GTA, screaming away up and down this road, really. It'd be an awesome, awesome place for it. So, I think it's probably about time that I reveal what car I'm driving, what car this is. It's British. It's a Vauxhall. Vauxhall in the UK is Opal in Europe, if you didn't know. It is an Astra. It's an Astra Design 1.4i 5-speed manual. It is a beast. Very much rental car category, but probably a car that some of you guys are actually interested in. Um, and being the newish or the latest version of it, it's quite, quite similar. It's quite nice, actually, to drive in regular cars sometimes and see their sort of quirks and pros and massively underpowered um, but the power delivery is quite nice on its way up 
Um, gearbox is super soft and easy. I mean, when you're driven in a car like the GTA, and even in the Focus RS, the clutch is like the lightest thing ever. The gear stick just moves, it's blipping a little bit, not that it revs very fast, but screen-wise it's neat. It connects to your phone. It's got this stuff like to go into the gallery on your phone and load up your pictures if it's connected via Bluetooth and whatnot, which is kind of neat. I don't even think many much more expensive cars have that. Um, feels a bit wafty on the roads compared to some of what I'm used to, but it's practical. There's five seats. There's a decent boot behind that as well. No problems with my suitcase and it's got this kind of um, riveted boot floor, which means your stuff doesn't slide around as well. All of these things that normal cars have that just don't make it into much more expensive cars. But anyway, what car am I driving? An Astra, a 1.4 litre Astra, five door hatch. The beast, we shall call it. Anywho, that's more or less it. I just wanted to let you know really what was going on, what's coming up. While what I'm taking you know, a couple of quieter days, a couple of family days, um, just to be a bit chilled, enjoy the birthday season and kind of rest because doing all of this stuff recently, the whole Le Mans, all the stuff around Ferrari, straight off the back of how little I've been at home, I needed a couple of chill days, I'm not gonna lie. I know that driving nice cars every day is awesome, trust me, I'm, I'm not complaining. But sometimes all the travel, I think I've, I've slept at home this year so far, well, in the last kind of three months, all maybe 20 nights in three months, 15 nights in three months, that kind of thing. So sometimes it's nice to just chill, take a step back, not get on a plane. This year I'll probably get on a plane more than 100 times. I think this is already like the 100th or so car I've driven. And we're only halfway through the year, which is kind of scary. Maybe it's like 80 or 90 or something, but I've got a list. And at the end of the year, like this year, I'll come back to that. Um, I mean, the Huayra BC already this year, the Chiron this year, Goodness me, check out those videos if you haven't already. Some awesome stuff. And I've done some new shuffling on the Shmi channel as well. If you go back to the Shmi or 50 channel page, um, there's new kind of playlists and things. So separating out the different videos, depending what you want to see. Um, so hopefully it's easier to find old stuff. Because a lot of people say, when are you going to drive this car? And there's actually already a video on it because you know, I'm making probably 400 videos a year in total because a couple of doubling up things at, at big events like Geneva. Um, there's a lot of content out there, guys. Um, a lot of even just my content out there. So hope you're enjoying it. I just wanted to catch up quickly today, um, let you know where I'm at, up in Scotland again. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. So I'll catch up with you again very soon. Thanks as always for watching. Do check out the uh, cutie. Let us know about your experiences of rental cars, but also obviously have a look back at some of the recent Shmi or 50 videos if you haven't. Um, and hopefully you'll find some cool stuff there. Anyway, thanks again, guys. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.